Condition 9333, sir. No. Ito yung nag-register doon sa kay... Uh, kay 9133 po, sir. Yeah, last four digits. Yes, sir. So, okay. Uh, General Magalong, can you take hold of his phone, subject it to forensics, and find out what time exactly he made the call? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, the best evidence right now is that phone and the record of reporting of Ms. Monghe. Because the record will show that she called at 349, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have a copy of her affidavit. I'm just uh, peering over the head of uh, Senator Lapsan. But if that is the case, then we should get hold of that affidavit and that report, 349, if that is the time, then we can pinpoint the exact time that that so-called assistance was requested and you can be sure that it occurred before the death. So uh, I hope that the, the, we can preserve that evidence here and mark it, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the, the, the affidavit. That is really the reliable one. Uh, sir, excuse me, sir. Good. Please continue. Uh, sir, pwede pong itanong po kung yung affidavit po na paboy ni Jen Mongi, sir. Was it based on the logbook, sir, yung nilag talaga niya na tumawag, or based on his personal, sir, na tinawagan siya ganun lang po? Don't have the temerity to ask the chair, ah. And then, sir, nagtatanong lang. We're supposed to ask... Ah, sige, sir, sorry, sir, sorry, sir. Men, Mr. Chair, uh, patutuloy na po ako dun sa pinaka-questioning ko. I won't belabor anymore at this point, that point about the suspicious... Uh, prior calling to, to Soko. Um, you see, Ilaraga, who asked or ordered you, as the case may be, to apply for the search warrants for both Espinosa and Yap? No one, ma'am. It was my call, Your Honor. Because you have witnesses? Opo. Because you had informants? Opo, Your Honor. And uh, napansin ko po sa search warrants, unnamed yung informants nyo. Is ilang informant ho ba? Isa lang po, ma'am. Name, name. For both. Kay Espinosa po ang nakalagay dito, ang witnesses nyo, PO3 Abellanosa, and another eyewitness. Dito naman po kay Yap, yung witnesses nyo, is are also PO3 Abellanosa and another eyewitness. So, isa lang na informant. Apo. Common Apo, to both. Apo, Your Honor. Hindi nyo pwedeng sabihin kung sino ang informant o kahit hindi po yung pangalan, ano siya? I won't force you to reveal the name if you don't want, but at least tell us Anong katayuan ng witness na yan? Or informant, to be uh, exact. Opo, oh, he's an independent uh, witness po. Ano po? Independent? In independent po. Bali, nag-walk-in lang po doon sa opisina po namin. Walk-in. Kasi kung yung target nyo may di umano, di umano merong baril, at drugs. I would suppose, kung sino may yung informant nyong yan, nakikita o nakita, dapat yung sinasabing firearm and drugs. Personal knowledge po yan. Alam po natin yan. Opo, opo ma'am. Nakita niya po. Sabi niya po. So walk in. Opo, siya po mismo. Siya rin po mismo humarap dun sa usgado po. May I raise a point of order at this point, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Chairman, with all due respect to everyone here, the witnesses here have been invited here, and at this point, they are walking on very thin ice. <clears throat> they could be testifying against themselves. I don't know if it would be appropriate to remind them of their rights. Mm -hmm. Even if they did not give the same rights to other people, we should not do the same thing. So I would remind, as co-chair, of the Miranda Doctrine here, that you're now being questioned, that everything you say against you here can be used in, against you in a court of law. That you have the right to have an attorney. And if you don't have an attorney, you either provide yourself with one or 
Senate may have to provide you with one. I'm just providing this information so that at this point in time, like I was telling Karina, you're on thin ice. I don't want you people to be testifying against yourself, and I don't want the Senate to be accused of violating your rights. We are, I'm in the Committee on Justice, and Senator Lawson is a seasoned chairman and a seasoned police officer, and we just want to make it a, this observation as exemplary. The police, the Senate, any other officer must inform any possible accuse of their rights. You are so informed right now, Mr. Chairman. Do you have a lawyer? Your Honor, yes, we have a lawyer. Okay, please uh, 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 inform us who your lawyer is. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, Attorney Crestan Bango, Your Honor. Attorney? Attorney Crestan Bango, Your Honor. All right. Well, there is an entry here, and let it be of record that you are properly assisted. Does it apply also to Mr. Matira, Superintendent Matira? Yes, Your Honor. And may we request that uh, our client, Your Honor, will uh, sit uh, yeah. beside Your Honor. Yes. You can go ahead and proceed. So we can appropriately... The, the chair is really Senator Lawson. So, uh, by the way, uh, we are allowing you to, to, to uh, ask a question. Normally, you should be advising your client. Yes, Your Honor. You should have been advising your client. So let it not be said that you, had, you came here, uh, Mr. Raga, without the counsel. There's a record here that you are, there's an entry here that you are assisted by counsel. So we are not violating any of your rights. Thank you very much. Meb, sabi po sa search warrants, yung para kay Espinosa sa yung dun nga ho sa cell number one at one caliber point forty five pistol. At dito naman po sa search warrant for Raul Yap, ang nakalagay ho dito cell number two at uh, ang pinapahanap ng korte ay yung undetermined quantity of dangerous drugs otherwise known as shabu. Tama po? Ito po yung uh, inapplyan nyo ng mga items. And meron ho bang nakapansin na mukhang mali itong uh, cell number para kay Mr. Yap? So saan ho ba talaga yung cell ni Mr. Yap? Is it cell number two or cell number seven? Warden. Your Honor, cell number seven po. Kayo po, yung raiding team, ay yung uh, team. Napansin niyo ba to? PCI Laraga? Nang nakalagay dito, cell number two. Instead of cell number seven, which is the actual cell of Mr. Yap. Apo, Your Honor. Napansin niyo? Kailan niyo napansin? Before or after the operation? Nung pag-apply pa lang po nung search warrant. O bakit po hindi nyo ho ito pinabago? Alam nyo ho ba kung saan cell si Mr. Yap? Sabi po ni Warden, supposedly cell number 7. Opo, opo. Kasi ganito po yung nangyari, ma'am, if I would be allowed to explain. Yeah. Particularity of the items to be seized. Mata-technical kayo dito. And the premises to be searched. Cell number two, bye-bye sa provincial judge. Cell number two, but pa, kanina ko, po, kanina ko pa po narinig na dapat na cell, cell number seven, si Yap. So bakit itong search warrant? Cell number Ma two. Ma'am, yung, if I would be allowed to explain. Go ahead, please. Ma'am, totoo po yun sa cell number two. Pero the team designated to that area or to that subject person eventually found it out na sinabi din mismo ng guard na tinransfer nila from 2 to 7. Kaya naman po ma'am, eh, dumiretso yung team doon sa 7. Kinonfirm pa rin po sa isang inmate doon kung talagang nasaan si Raul Yap po. So that, that was what happened. Do you agree, Pao, na pwede yan? I mean, you, you took the affidavit of... Uh the witnesses, the, in the... Yes, Your Honor. Um, mm -hmm. May we be allowed to properly introduce ourselves first. I am Attorney Vivilin Monsanto. I'm the regional public attorney of the Public Attorney's Office for Region 8. And with me are our district lawyers from...
Pau by 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 district office. So that was Monday morning when I received a call from Director Abera of the National Bureau of Investigation. They were asking for our assistance for the conduct of uh, investigation that they will be undertaking. So we proceeded to by by sub provincial jail, uh, actually to assist the witnesses especially the inmates who are all our clients and so we were there we provided assistance we apprised them of their constitutional rights we notarized their affidavits and we ang gusto lang po natin malaman based on those mga affidavits of inmates saan ho ba talaga yung tunay na cell ni Yap uh, originally cell 2 or cell 7 yes your honor Raul Yap is in cell number 7 supposedly so yung kaya lang yung explanation nila raga mukhang tina is there an instance based on the testimonies of the inmates was there a, an instance na that transfer si mm. Yap sa cell number 2 based on the testimony of the witness Raul Yap was never transferred, never transferred. to another cell Contrary it was to only what on cell number was 7 saying kanina yes, na transfer yes your honor so orig lagang cell yung cell number 7 yes madam okay next point Dito po sa search warrants, uh, yung K. Espinosa dapat yung isi-search at kukunin is the one caliber .45 pistol. Pero dito po sa presentation nyo, recovered firearm from the crime scene, and this pertains to Mayor Espinosa, Super .38 Colt. Yung 45 ang napunta kay Yap. Ano to? Although, you will note na yung sa search warrant kay Yap, siya bulangan nakalagay dyan. Wala yung firearm. Correct? Opo, Your Honor. Pero syempre, sasabihin nyo, meron din siyang firearm nung uh, nag-implement na kayo. Because na, dito sa report nyo. So, bakit nabaliktad? Supposedly, yung 45, yung 45, uh, yung kay Espinosa, per the search warrant. Pero ang nakuha kay Espinosa is 38. At ang napunta kay Yap is 45. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, if This is your own report. Yes, Your Honor. That's correct. Uh, if, may, may, if I may be allowed to explain. Your Honor, ganito po kasi yun. Eh, wala po kasi yung picture. Pero pag nakita niyo po yung Super 38 caliber, eh, it looks like e 1911-45 made in US. Pag nakita niyo po talaga siya, siya yung, yung 45 po 1911 na made in US. Ganun po yung, yung forma ng Super 38 po. Pag so, nakita niyo po, it really binang, looks like e 45 po. May binanggit kang picture. Nasaan po yung picture? Um, I believe na can you sa show to po, us? Can po. you show to us the picture, the photo? Sa soko po mam meron Nung po. namatay na, napatay na si Espinosa. Kasi sinasabi nyo nga, merong baril. Apo ma'am. So nakas nakalagay dun sa, sa picture ng soko? Sa soko po, Your Honor, meron na po. Na yung baril niya? Yo po, Your Honor. At yung baril niya, it turned out pala to be caught. Uh, uh, 38? No, it's... 38? Super Instead 30. of 45. Opo, Your Honor. Ganun na nangyari. Yeah, wala ko ba yung picture dyan? Kung wala ko, meron ako akong ipapakita. Ano ba nakuha kay Espinosa? 38? Uh, Super 38, sir. Ang sabi ng Sopo, sir. 45. Code Commander 45, sir. Pero sa search warrant, baligtad. Wala, wala pong firearm po doon okay, sa search po. warrant po. Ayan, Ay, walang, yeah. walang ano. Pero 45 Opo. yung napunta kay... Yap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ang sabi po nung officers, dapat 45 yung nakita nung witness. 45 so, daw yung nakita niya po. Hindi ba kayo nagkapalit ng pagplant dito? Kabaligtad? Ay, wala pong ganun po yung ano. Okay, talking about planting, Mr. Chair. Tinatanong ko nga kanina, hinihingi ko po ka sa kanila kanila yung pinaka-retrato, mga photos nung itsura ni Mayor Espinosa nung patay na siya. Opo, na di umano nga may baril. 
Opo. Meron na po kayo dyan. dyan Ito po ma'am, makikita po natin 45 yung itsura po. Pero 38 po yung bala nito. What is that picture? At this point, Mr. Chair, can I ask for a one minute suspension because I'm gonna show something dyan po sa... Hearing is suspended for one minute.